welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. Today I'm really excited because we're going to make my favorite Peruvian dish. It's a dish that I've had tons of times back at home. My mom used to make it and we had it, I don't know, every two weeks. It was really, really one of my favorite home dishes. We're going to make ají de gallina, which translates literally to uh, chili made with hen. But nowadays, no one uses hen. Actually, we just use chicken. Now, of course, like everything in traditional cuisine, I have my recipe that I got from my mom and that's completely different maybe from something else that you might have had or from something that someone else that's at home. But that's, I think, the value of having different versions all around. You can take uh, things for each from each and then you can make your own. So for this recipe, we're using some proven ingredients that you might not know, so I'm going to introduce them to you. First is the holy grail of Peruvian cuisine. This is a yellow chili pepper and it's spicy. It's not extremely spicy. I think it has a nice amount of spiciness in it. And the thing is that from this, you can use it raw for other preparations or in this case, I made a paste. So if you get a hold of fresh uh, yellow chilies, then by all means, check out on the recipe how I did this. But if you live outside of Latin America, it's very likely that you won't be able to get them fresh. If you can get them fresh, you probably will get the paste. Although the only difference will be that that paste will be spicy. This one is not because I blanched it and I removed the seeds. But you can use it anyway. The uh, final dish won't be really, really spicy. It will just have a nice amount of spiciness. The other thing is this chili that is called panca and they sell it like this dried everywhere and what you need to do to make a paste like this one is hydrated overnight on cold water and then you can blend it with a bit of water until you have a paste like this and again you might not get it in this form but rather in powder or already in paste if you're outside of Latin America. I ordered it on Amazon when I lived in London and I had it in powder so I'm also going to put the equivalency if you get this in powder instead of in a paste. As always, if you want to see the full recipe, then all you need to do is click in the link in the description box below and that will take you to the blog where you'll find lots more recipes. Also remember that if you like this video, you can always put thumbs up to it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. I'm not going to make this ají de gallina, so if you want to see how it's done, then keep on watching this video. To start, I've done a bit of work before you guys arrived and I have here my chicken, which is already cooked in a chicken broth that is made with the bones from the uh, chicken breasts and also the chicken breasts themselves that are cooking in here and when you do this you want to make sure that it's simmering very very little because if it's simmering too hard then the chicken will go hard and it's just not very pleasant so I've already separated the chicken from the broth I have here the chicken that I've shredded and you don't want to shred it too much because then when you're going to be stirring it's going to shred a bit further and you don't want it to disappear completely and also I have here the broth with the vegetables you can make a vegetable cream perfectly and it's delicious so what I'm going to do next is make our thickening eng agent so it's what's going to make the ají de gallina go nice and thick and that's bread so not many people do this but in my house I've already always done it like this and I toast the bread and then I cut it up other people also just put it in here without toasting and I think the effect is the same only that this I think gives it a bit more flavor and also a bit more color. So I'm going to blend it with a liter from the broth and that's going to create a nice paste that we're going to use later to thicken our ají de gallina. Okay, now that we have all our components ready, let's get down to business. We're going to start by frying the onions in a bit of vegetable oil until they're really nice and soft. Once the onions are soft, we're going to add the garlic, which you can grate, you can mince, or even pass through a garlic press. Cook that for a minute, and then we're going to add the panka paste and also the yellow chili paste. And you want to cook that at 
at a medium heat until you see that the oils are going to start to separate from the paste. reduced to about half the original volume. Once it thickens, it's time to add the chicken. And you don't want to add it from the very start because then it's going to go tough, which is what we wanted to prevent before. And mix it in. to finish with the parmesan cheese and that's ready then. With this ají de gallina we typically serve it with hard boiled eggs, also potatoes and rice. But of course if you want to change up any of these or use just one carb because we really love carbs then by all means go ahead and do it. from the blog don't forget to send me a picture or tag me on them because I really love to see what you cook. Also if there's anything savory or sweet that you would like me to teach you how to make you can leave a comment below. I'm posting videos every Thursday and Sunday so if you don't want to miss any of them then I recommend that you subscribe to my channel it's free and only one click away. You can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Facebook as Cravings Journal. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.